What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into X-Men issue number 18. This story is going to be focusing hugely on both Sink and Wolverine. Now for those of you that missed it, what we had seen was Sink, Darwin, and Wolverine. They were sent on a mission to infiltrate the Vault. Said to be one of the biggest threats to mutant kind's continued survival. After thousands of years with inside the Vault, Sink was able to escape, but it came at the cost of Laura's life. Or at least so everybody thought. But upon them returning to the Vault, when they were looking for Darwin, that is where they found Wolverine. Very comatose, but very much still alive. Now that the world has two versions of Laura walking the island, is there room for both of them on Krakoa? What is the protocol now that they have two of them out here in the world? Now, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up with a quiet council meeting. The topic of discussion is Wolverine. Laura Kinney was believed to be dead. When Sink had returned, she was pushed to the front of the line for resurrection. But what we have seen come out of the vault just recently is the thousands of year old Laura. She has been alive this entire time. And with her return, that means that we have two Wolverines. And it also means that Sink has the love of his life back. And of course, you have individuals like Beast who are now questioning her return. But right now, she is out there with Sink and the X-Men. They have made their way to Detroit. That is because the Wolverine that spent all of that time inside of the vault, she wants to have a conversation with herself with the one that was resurrected after Sink's return. But with the two of them getting in Detroit, the way that we can tell the two Wolverines apart is that Sink is more or less creating a helmet on the head of Wolverine, still connected and synced up with Jean Grey. Throughout this comic, we are going to see that the thousand-year-old Wolverine is wearing a pink helmet. But as Sink and Wolverine show up, what they find is Jubilee, they find Dazzler, they find Wolverine. They are all fighting against vampires. A very common and running theme with Marvel Comics lately. Now, while most of this Dazzler Wolverine stuff is taking place in Exterminators, Dazzler was on tour and some of her fans had gone missing. That is because of the vampires. But our old Wolverine came here for a conversation, letting the young Wolverine know that the two of them are not going to slow them down, but she does want a conversation, with the main nest of vampires being right below their feet. They head down into the sub-levels. As they get down here, we see that Sink is able to tell where they are. This is where the Wolverines let everybody else know that you guys stay here. The two of them, they are going to go handle the vampires and they are going to have a conversation. This is what takes us to the rest of the X-Men team. We have Orcus Station who has a catastrophic failure, a giant explosion, and people are being sucked out into space. That is where the X-Men team arrive. Jean Grey, Iceman, all of them have shown up on site and they are rescuing Orcus agents. Because even if these guys are their enemy, the X-Men cannot leave them to their own devices. Cannot let them sit here and die out in space. With Iceman patching up the hole, the breach has been secured. And Cyclops lets all of these guys know after the rescue that remember who saved you today. And so, with the X-Men saving the day, we are taken down into the vampire nest as the Wolverines begin massacring all of these vampires. With the old Laura recognizing that the young Laura, she was resurrected with an adamantium skeleton. But they also point out the fact that if one of them die now, only one of them are going to be resurrected. Or at least so they believe. 
the one thing that these two do have in common is that neither of them asked for any of it. They didn't ask for the X gene, the claw, the metal. They are down here fighting vampires so their friends don't have to. With them absolutely decimating this vampire nest. The young Wolverine says that she is claiming the name Wolverine. And old Laura, she's okay with this. That she has gone by Wolverine for so many years. She is more than ready for a change. But she is also letting the young Wolverine know that she is happy that she gets to live a different life. And though this isn't personal, she doesn't want to see her. She doesn't want to be her friend. She doesn't want to hang out with her. Now that the two of them really have that settled out, they've had their discussion, they know that they are going to both go in separate directions. Up on the surface, we have Jubilee who is talking about maybe making the Exterminator something official. As Sink and Old Wolverine, they head out. They head back to the treehouse and they catch up on much missed time. That is what takes us back over to the Quiet Council. Jean Grey has shown up while they are all discussing the Wolverine situation. Beast seems to be the only one currently opposed to the idea of Wolverine being here. He believes that she is a plant from the Children of the Vault. But this is where Jean Grey says that she is clearing her. That even if she was able to trick Jean Grey, could she truly trick Sink? The man who spent hundreds of years together with her, every day simply fighting to survive. Maybe Laura's return is too good to be true. But maybe, maybe Beast has just become way too cynical. That he has spent too much time in the dark, and it has damaged his heart. Now this is what takes us up into space. We have Christopher Summers, the father of Cyclops, Vulcan, and Havoc. He is making his way through space. By looking around the whole of the ship, what we see is that his crew has been decimated. With only one more round in his gun, he is sending out a message to his sons. He is saying goodbye to them to let them know that they need to protect the family because the brood, they are coming. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. For those of you that have not been following everything ongoing with Captain Marvel, I highly recommend that you do so because we are going to be seeing the crossover with the X-Men and Captain Marvel here relatively soon. With Captain Marvel current story arc covering everything going on with the Brood. At one point in time, we had believed that everything was copacetic, but there has been a shift in power among these aliens, and now they are targeting individuals with mutant abilities, with superpowers, not knowing yet to what goal or what purpose, but we are gonna soon find out. Now, when it comes to the rest of this story, we now have two Wolverines, one that is thousands of years old, and another one that was resurrected after Sink and everything else went on. The young Wolverine not having any memory of her time in the vault. This was kind of devastating to Sink. He spent hundreds of years with Wolverine, but she didn't remember that the love that they shared. But now, he has her back. They are finally back together, and they are spending as much time as they can together. The logistics of how it's going to work when it comes to resurrection and one of them dying, that is still very much going to be up in the air. But there is always the possibility that both of them could be resurrected. That now that the old Wolverine is back, her memory can be backed up. And while B seems to be the only one truly opposed to this, believing that she is an implant, that she is an agent of the Vault, he could at the end of the day very much be right. But we're gonna see how all of that plays out. At least for today, this is a win for Sink. And I am very intrigued on where Old Wolverine is going to go, how this is all going to play out, and what name she is going to take on. But let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, if you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series, be sure to check out the link in my description, as well as the top of this video. It is gonna get you completely caught up on everything going on with the X-Men. 
If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having five different tiers. From $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to getting free comics every single month. Not only does this help out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you are unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.